Hi sewing friends, welcome to my sewing room. My name is Beth and if you're new, welcome. Today I'm making a little pillow using a very traditional quilt block called New York Quilt Block. It's right here in my Barbara Brackman quilt book and I have an older patchwork pattern book by Maggie Malone and I found the same quilt block very traditional and I'm going to put this quilt block together and turn it into a little pillow. There are nine little two inch squares, eight are blue and one is white, and then I have a lot of leftover triangles I will be using to make my star points. I have some bars, two inch by five, there's whites, reds, and then I have a long two inch by nine and a half inch white strip. I'll put that information down below. To put my star points on, I'm going to use these leftover triangles. They're all different sizes. I just kind of position it where I want it to be and they are all going to be just a little bit different. I just need to make sure that I cover that corner triangle on that square. Here's another one and I, since I'm using an older machine I am trying to do some chain piecing. So this is the second star point that I'm adding and I'm sorry my camera is not quite on my sewing machine yet, but it, I think I get it moved over there in just a minute. i um, doing one at a time and then I'm going to double check that my triangle area is covered and it is. So what I'll do is I'll turn this uh, backwards, look at the wrong side and then I'll use that square as my guide to trim away the excess white and then I will trim away that background triangle, which isn't necessary, but I am going to trim away the blue area behind. After getting one of my star points on, I will add another one. It kind of overlaps that first one. And as you can see, I don't go all the way up to the top of the square just because I don't want to lose my points. And I will add another triangle to the other side. And I'm going to go through and add star points to four of these blue two inch squares. After getting all of my star points on, I sat down at my machine and I sewed this little nine patch star together.
After getting my star ready, all I did was I added the stripes for my flag and you can see that I just did row by row. I added three stripes to the star and then I added the longer stripes below. I liked piecing those bottom longer strips with the red so I used uh, two different reds for both of those longer stripes. I just like the scrappy look. Here's a little picture of what it might look like if you were to put these blocks together in a quilt, but I'm going to add some borders and I'm going to make a small 13 inch pillow with my quilt block. I added strips that were two and a half inches wide all the way around my little quilt block here. And then just to make it a little special, I'm going to add a little hand quilting. You can see on the back I have a layer of batting and I have some embroidery floss. I'm using all six strands. That was just my preference for this project. I pinned my quilt block to the batting. I added a couple of pins so everything would stay together. And I'm just going to go right around the outside of the block, maybe a quarter inch away from the seam with a running stitch. I had this beautiful piece of upholstery fabric that I will cut the width of my pillow and it's going to be a little bit long. I want a little extra because I'm going to be adding a zipper in the middle of this piece of upholstery fabric. Here's a red zipper, just what I need for this project. And it's a little bit longer than I need. That's okay, I'll be trimming off the end. I cut right through the middle of my fabric and I'll be putting a zipper on one side. I put the um, zipper face down on the edge of my fabric and I sewed all the way down. Then I turned it, I opened it up and top stitched along the left side here of this zipper.
Now I'll add the other side of the back of my pillow here, the right side of the fabric, towards the right side of the zipper, and I will stitch all the way along the zipper, and then I will fold and see how much excess fabric I have. This time I did not top stitch that zipper down. I want to see um, how much excess I have. I want it to fold and kind of cover up that zipper. So I put my backing face down on my pillow here and I got the top and the bottom edges to align and then I folded the middle and you'll see I have a little pocket here now for my zipper. And I could have added a seam here, but I didn't. I just kept this fold here, and then I stitched all the way around my pillow and backing after I had them pinned together. Before I started stitching around, I made sure that my zipper was open so that when I am done stitching all the way around, I'll be able to turn my pillow right side out. I trimmed that excess zipper off I took the pins out and then all I had to do was turn this right side out and put a little pillow form in there for my new little flag pillow. Thank you for joining me today and I'll see you next time.